All right, YouTubers, welcome back. Um, this is a recording from a live stream. So you'll see comments from Twitch on the screen. But we decided to play some Factorio during the stream and I'm recording it so that we don't miss anything in the series on YouTube. Um, my brain is a little bit fried from playing Oxygen Not Included for the last couple of hours. So I'm not sure if I'll get anything heavy accomplished. Um, but for sure I want to get some more iron plate done. So let's do that first. That's not too challenging. <laughs> Everybody say hi to YouTube. And if you haven't been to my Discord before, um, I want to plug my Discord channel a little bit. We have a lot of interesting conversations over there. All right, let's see. That goes there. One, two, three. Trying to figure out where to place this. Okay, so this that splitter gets aligned there. The other one goes there. I suppose I could have blueprinted it. Okay, and then make room for the iron to come up. Give me one moment, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that, I had to close the door. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and smash that follow button, guys. Smash that like and subscribe. I need more furnaces. And for that I'm going to need more stone as well. So let me try to grab some. Okay, that should give me a lot. Um, and for anybody wondering, I'm not I'm not planning to run to run the rest of the series as uh, recorded live streams. Um, although I may do a few episodes from the series that way, um, especially the ones where we're you know doing stuff like this, some basic expansion things like that. Um, that way, I can where I don't have to make full use of my mental faculties and I can pay attention to the chat and stuff like that at the same time. Um, and, and maybe this is a little bit better for everybody than me doing this stuff offline. Uh, either way, let me know. If, if you don't like this, let me know. If you do like it, let me know. I'm always happy to have feedback and I don't take offense to criticism, so don't be afraid to tell me what you really think. Unless you're Lumberjack, I don't want him to tell me what he really thinks because sometimes he hurts my feelings. Poles. I should start crafting mining drills. 530. I don't know if I have. I don't know if I have enough iron ore patch area to give myself another 
another belt full of ore, but we'll find out here in a minute. Yeah, I think I can make it happen. start investing in trains sometime soon and actually we'll continue this one on let's move this power pole by one all right good and then we'll jump across that one. Oh, I'm out of belts okay let's go grab some more ah uh, yeah, stream category is still set to Oni, thanks. I'm not... I'm not sure... I'm not sure how to change that in the middle of the stream. But I'll check it out so I can fix that next time. Alright, there's belts. And get more inserters. As you'll recall from the last time, I am basically just doing some weapons research, some military science stuff. Um, there's not there's not a lot of research left for me to do right now since I only have the first three science packs, so uh, that's why the queue doesn't have more stuff in it. Oh, mods can do it? <laughs> you hear that, C Black? Okay, bear with me a second. Let me see if I can... Oh yeah, here we go. Alright, so Factorio... Space Exploration... go. Okay, I updated the stream info. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, how many is that? I think that's only 14. Yeah, I need to get I need one more per side to get a full yellow belt's worth. Actually, I'll put this one right here since this little area is not covered yet. I haven't had a chance to see my meteor defense go into action yet. I'm kind of anxious to see how that works. These last five mining drills are going to take forever. Well, that's why I have building them all first on my to-do list. So as soon as I get this extra bit of iron done, we'll start working on them all. Okay. All right, good. And that's even on the correct side of the belt. One, two, three. Um, let's see. Yeah, we'll do it like this. And that way we'll have one more for the other sides, too. Um, 
Lithuanian guy, the meteors are coming from space exploration. It's part of that mod. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> okay, how are we doing on power? We're getting close to our power limit. Okay, so now I've got another belt of iron, which needs to... I guess I can just take it straight up from here. Straight north, I should say. Not up. Um, yeah, bring it over like this. This now becomes a little awkward. Uh, yeah. Okay, and now I have two belts of iron. I still haven't updated to 1.1. Or I think it's up to one, it's up, actually up to 1.1 or 1.15 now, because there, apparently there's been a lot of bugs. Which is, um, to me at least, is a little surprising because usually, usually they do a really good job about not having, you know, <laughs> usually they do a really good job of having the number of bugs decrease with each update rather than the other way around. So hopefully that'll help. Thanks for the follow. Jekyll, Jekyll Brothers. <laughs> CB is the best mod. I'll say it right now. We don't need, we don't need any external confirmation of that. Okay, um, I wonder if this would be a good time to add to add more power. I think it probably would be. So let's do that. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'll go grab motors and gears before I start handcrafting steam engines. CB helps me out a lot. He is a mod in the Discord server, and um, I made him a mod of the Twitch stream, which he probably didn't know about until he joined the stream today. Um, I should have asked you first. Sorry about that, buddy. Um, but I didn't think you'd mind. <clears throat> and uh, he helped me a lot with getting the stream set up. So, much appreciation. Uh, Lumberjack also helped uh, with that quite a bit, and he's also a mod on the Discord. So, a lot of a lot of good folks that that hang out with me online. Okay, so now let's make some steam engines. We need forty of those. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Okay. And most of the intermediate ingredients already set up. I'm gonna have to take these turrets apart. Um, actually, before I started playing today, I, I had meant to load. I had meant to load nanobots, or you know, I think it was gonna be nanobots um, to help me build more quickly. But I haven't done it yet. And I wanted to keep the mod list, um, you know, obviously I'm, I'm playing a, a major game-changing mod um, with space exploration, but 
Uh, besides space exploration, I wanted to keep the other mods to a minimum just to kind of to get sort of a pure experience of the space exploration mod. Um, which I'm really enjoying a lot, by the way. Um, but I think because there's so much new with this, um, I think I'm going to, I'm going to need to probably rebuild things a lot more than I normally would, which is why, which is why I'm thinking it could be a good idea to have some sort of robotic assistance. Okay, so now we got water. Let's throw in these pipes. Let's start making burner inserters. Need 20 of those. How far am I planning to go? Um, that's a good question. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I think I think the mod has some pretty well-defined endgame goals, right? So as long as it's not something where you just pick a number of how many science per minute you want and, and keep building, um, then I'll probably just try to go all the way to endgame with it, reach whatever victory condition the mod has. I'm not sure what that is, um, I don't recall. So, but to answer the question, I, th I think I'll probably just, I'll keep going until, until we've reached the end of the mod. And, and I understand that it could take a while. I know that there are some folks that I've talked to have been playing the same space exploration map for hundreds of hours. So I'm thinking probably what I'll do is, you know, this will be my main Factorio series. And I'll keep playing this map until, you know, until we reach the end. But, but because it is so long, I'll probably, I'll probably have some other, some other series running parallel with it just to keep things a little bit fresh. Um, because I don't want to... You know, I, d I don't want to have like hundreds of episodes of the same series for the next three or four months on YouTube. I think I think viewers and myself could be at risk of burning out if we did that. So I'll do a little bit of I'll do a little bit of this. I'll do a little bit of something else. I would like to do more of these streams because I really enjoy the real time interaction on the streams. Yeah. I mean, we'll see how it goes. Hey, Demetricus, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. If, you know, it, it could just happen that after playing it for 100 hours, I might just, I might just get tired of it, you know. That's happened to me with, I've had a couple other YouTube series that I ended prematurely just because... I just lost my enthusiasm for it. So I'll, we'll play it by ear. So far I'm having fun. So as long as it's fun for me and it's fun for you guys, we'll keep it going. <laughs> Streams are master race, yeah. It is, it's definitely different and it is pretty fun. So I can understand why some people just stream full time and ignore pre-recorded videos. I can see the appeal. It's less work too. I, you know, I turn on my machine, start the stream, play and record at the same time and you're done. No editing. So it's definitely got some appeal to it. Okay. So we're good with that. Um, all right, we got a few more, a few more upgrades we can do. So on the to-do list, I've got the mall, and then I've got green circuits. Do you guys think I should do 
Should I do green circuits before I do them all or after? Like start them all and then do green circuits or should I do green circuits first and then start them all? Um, Jedi Synthor, I love watching speed runs. I watch Nephrums, I watch Anti-Elites. Um, those guys are, honestly, those guys are amazing. They're like my factorial idols. Um, I think, <laughs> really, I, I think that speed running this game is like, is, uh, is the real test of skill in this game. You know, it's like, it's like being a good driver versus being a Formula One racer, you know. At least in my mind it is. Um, but I don't think I would be very good at doing that myself. Although, like Lumberjack said, I did, I did a series once for the, for the eight hour achievement. Um, what is that one called? Uh, there is no spoon. I did that one, and, and I've, I actually got my times down. I think the best time I got was a little over three hours after I practiced it a few times. And in fact, if, if I had done it all in one sitting, I would have been able to get on the leaderboards on uh, speedruns.com. But I did it over the course of a couple sessions, so I, I couldn't, you know, it didn't count for that. I think if I practiced it, I, I could get down. I, I mean, I'm not going to be able to catch up with those other guys, but I could probably get down to about two hours if I really worked at it. Um, okay, so let's do green circuits first. Uh, and I think we'll start that in a new grid section. So let me grab some stone brick and we'll start to lay out the next the next grid section. My inventory is getting really full. I'll just make... I'll just handcraft it. All the power cables. <laughs> or all the power lines. Sorry, I need to uh, I need to move away from the mic fairly frequently because I'm enjoying a carbonated beverage right now. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Somebody told me in the YouTube comments that I can hit F5 to bring up the grid very quickly. Thank you very much for that tip. I don't remember who made the comment right now. I'm not very good at remembering that, but uh, I do appreciate those tips. I learned a lot from you guys. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I can't see what's going on. I gotta take out some of these trees so I can see where I'm putting the walkway. Yeah, this is, but I, I gotta say, so far, I think this is a really great mod pack. You know, I, when I did um, Crestorio, I enjoyed Crestorio, uh, but Crestorio 2, I thought was, I thought was head and shoulders better than the first version. I really enjoyed that. I'm loving this one so far. Um... Irindel, who who made the mod, uh, has been has been kind enough to to contact me and uh, you know give me some advice and stuff. So it, it's to me it's really like you know it's an honor to uh, 
to be in touch with with the creators of the mod that I'm using. They override hotkeys for other mods. Oh, okay. I need more brick. But yeah, I, th I think this mod is, so far it seems to be really, really well done. Um, I think it, I think it's got a really good balance between complexity and not just, and not just hassling the player with unnecessary complication. Um, that was kind of the way that I felt when I played Angels mods. Um, I really like Angels mods and, you know, I liked watching some of the other YouTubers play it, but dealing with all the byproducts and stuff, like it just, eventually it just wasn't very fun. And um, another mod pack that I've played probably... Man, these bricks don't last too long, do they? Um, that I played probably at least 100 hours, maybe two, uh, was Omnimatter. Uh, and if you guys have never tried that, I'd, I'd recommend it. it that, that's a really cool mod. Mod pack. You know, there's several mods involved in it, kind of like Bobs and Angels and stuff. And that includes, you know, the, the intended experience includes AAI. Like this one does, AI industry. So it makes it makes things more complex even during the early game. But that that's a really cool mod pack too. And uh and the the developer of that mod, um Zelos He's got a, a Discord channel that's that's really fun to be a part of. They pulled me over they pulled me in over there and that's kinda what you know, one of the guys that one of the regulars over there invited me to the Discord channel and I just went over there and I just <laughs> I just started having a lot of fun chatting with those guys and that's what got me uh to check out the mod and, and I really liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you guys. Yeah, this is almost like a DLC. It's so different. Okay. Um, yeah, so grid is nearly complete. Let me just grab some more stone and, and finish up that last little bit so that it doesn't bother us for the next several hours of gameplay. Okay, so do I want to make, I want to make green circuits from stone tablets, right? Not from wood, or should I do both? Bueller. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, I was noticing the zero input. Um, yeah, I think I'll do it from stone bricks. Um, a little bit of uh, exploration last time looked like the... Uh, I got to get rid of some of this stuff that I've got here. What can I make with it? Um, assembly machines. Hey, Velnik, welcome.
Feed wood to fuel processing. Okay. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Yeah, I was going to say that I, I know that you can make, you can produce wood in the game, but that takes a lot of resources too, and probably more than you would save by, by not making the circuits with stone. You know, didn't I say in the last episode that I was going to try to preserve the trees as much as I could? Alright, I need some health. So I don't kill myself with grenades, that would be embarrassing. I did have a dupe die in the last... in the... oxygen not included stream. Ah, uh, that's great, Valnik. Thanks. Thanks a lot, man. I, I appreciate uh, I appreciate you watching the vids. Oops. Okay, so I'm just I'm just extending everything that's on the bus out to the next section. Uh, I, some of this stuff I'm not going to need for circuits, obviously, but we'll need to do this eventually anyway, so might as well do it now. Okay, yeah, that's understandable. No worries. I, I'm, I'm the same way. Like, when there's something new that comes out that I want to try, I, I try to avoid watching <laughs> anybody else play it, because I want to experience it for myself first. In fact, this is a this uh, space exploration is a good example. I've been I know other other YouTubers and streamers have been playing it, but I've been purposely avoiding those because I don't want to I don't want to get I don't want to say contaminated, but I don't want to <laughs> that has a bad connotation, but um I don't want to be influenced by the ideas of others before I get a chance to work through it myself. Okay, so we'll bring some power up here. And I think we're ready to go. Um, so the next question is how many belts of green circuits should I make? Um... I was thinking four, but I don't know if that's if that's going to be too many. Let's get rid of some of this yellow ammo. Why didn't that one get any? That was strange. I must have I must have arced over it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's check F and EI and let's see where let's see where those green circuits are used and see if we can kind of get a feel for how often we're going to need these things. All right, electronic circuits are what they're called. Uh, and I need to right click. All right, so we need them for red circuits. modules. I mean, they're used for millions of different buildings and stuff, but uh, I'm just kind of wondering. All right, solar panels. Oh, they solar panels use quite a lot of them. I'm, I'm trying to like figure out for other ingredients that we might need. It looks like they're mostly used in just building base supplies. All right, engine units. I'm sure we'll end up making a lot of those. In fact, another recommendation I got in the comments on YouTube was to was to put engines and electric and or motors and electric motors on the bus. And that seems like a good idea to me as well. All right. But anyway, um, 
it'll have to be fewer than the number of belts of copper and iron that I have, so... Or copper and stone in this case. Three copper cables, one stone. All right, so I think for now I'll shoot for two belts of green circuits. Okay. So I want to be here. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Is that right? No. One, two, three. Here. No. All right. First one's going there. Okay. So we're going to need three copper cables and one stone tablet. Uh, stone tablets. We get four from one stone brick. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Because usually what we would do is, you know, three to two in, in vanilla factorio, we would do like three to two copper wires to circuits. And I think that, yeah, that still applies here. Um, but then we need one stone tablet as well. And if we get four of those every half a second, then one machine can feed four of these with stone tablets. So this is going to make for an interesting layout. Okay. So let's, let's keep this configuration as we normally would. and then figure out how to manage the stone tablets. So I could see like having a belt of green circuits coming out. And if I had, oops, if I had stone coming in, well, I don't see how I'm gonna make Yeah, I don't see how I'm going to make that work. I think I'm going to have to do it differently on the back end. Alright, let's try something like this. circuits there. Um, let's do something like this. So I'll put I'll put stone bricks on the top side of this belt. those inserters are going to be fast enough since we've got inserter capacity bonus researched. I think. Hmm. That's got to go along. Hmm. 
That's not gonna work. I don't have enough space. four inserters between the three to two and I need to get this belt to jump but it can't so I'm gonna have to make I'm gonna have to make red undergrounds like this and is it just one stone tablet Craft some more of these blue inserters. Okay. And we can place them like that. Okay. So I think that'll work. Like that. Two, one, two. And then just yellow belts. So the reds are overkill, at least as far as throughput is concerned, but I need the extra reach. on the other side. Now this is going to give me one every half second times 0.75. Let me calculate this real quick. Um, so to get 15 To get 15 per second, which would fill one of these, I would need seven and a half machines. So 7.5 divided by 0.75. Okay, so I need 10 machines total, which is kind of awkward. <laughs> Since we're since we're set up to do these in multiples of two, all right. Well, let's uh, let's get our output set. Do it like that. Okay, let's test this out and see how it works before I get much further with it. start to be on my toes again. Okay, and then copper down this way. All right, let's see how this does. Getting a little bit of lag, not sure why. Getting a lot of lag actually. Computer's getting tired. Okay. And then stone brick. 
Rick. U R H one eleven. Thanks for following. Appreciate that. Yeah, this is the first. I don't know why I'm. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's the game is just kind of stuttering every few seconds. And it seems like it just started. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully, it'll resolve itself. Seems to work. Let's watch this one. Alright. Yeah, all the ingredients seem to be feeding in quickly enough, so I think the the number and types of inserters that we have look fine. Um yeah, it it could be it could be due to the streaming, but um, it seems like it just started recently. I haven't noticed it until just the last couple of minutes. Um, and I'm streaming and recording at the same time. So I know that makes things more of a load on the computer. Um, Twist a shout. Thank you very much for the donation. Appreciate that. You're very generous. Thank you. Um, and I've got, I've got 16 cores on this bad boy. I don't know. Let's see if it goes away. <laughs> and if it doesn't, then that might, that might be a sign that we need to do something else. Okay. Um, uh, CPU is a Ryzen... A Ryzen something or other. <laughs> I don't remember. Let's see what the FPS is. Yeah, FPS is... Yeah, see that? FPS just takes a dive every few seconds. You see that? Usually it's 60 with no problems. Um... Let's see. I know there's there's a way that we can see. I thought it was with F5. But there was a way that we could see, you know, how many CPU cycles all the mods are using. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if I'm not 60-60 now, it's only going to get a lot worse, right? Okay, well, we need 10 of these machines to to load up a yellow belt. So let's repeat this setup like this. So I'm going to have to move, I'm going to have to move this power pole. So that's eight. Oops. And then the last one, we just need two. And then I'll have to do some funny business with the belts. Dead heel, welcome and thanks for following. Appreciate that. Glad to have you on board with us. I get a little endorphin rush every time I hear that sound. Or not not endorphins, serotonin, that's what it is. I just messed that up, didn't I?
idea. I need to leave a space. There we go. Thanks, Dead Heal. Um, actually, I I didn't stream until until just yesterday. So you're getting in on the ground floor, my friend. Um, I tried streaming back in 2017. I did two streams. Um, my YouTube channel was much smaller back then, of course. And um, <laughs> it was really weird because, you know, through most of those streams, there was there was nobody there. So I'm so I was sitting there and I'm thinking, well, should I, you know, <laughs> should I keep talking anyway, as if as if there were people here, <laughs> in case somebody watches it later, or should I just sit here and wait? You know, I didn't know what the what the etiquette was, and I screwed this up again. All right, I need one there, and I need one there. Yeah, this lag is killing me. I'm not. I hope I can figure out what's causing that. It's rather annoying. I've had this happen before, though, to be honest. In Factorio. Um, I just don't remember what the cause was. Maybe there's an update trying to run on my computer or a virus scan or some, something silly like that. I just have to put a pole there. I should probably just be using medium power poles at this point, right? I'll do that when I get to them all. Okay, so now I want to go one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll skip to the inside of the belt. And that should give me a full belt. Uh, open settings. Uh, which settings are we looking for? Graphics. No, sounds are not going to affect it. Yeah, I mean, it would have to be graphics, right? I don't know. Well, if any of you have ideas on what could be causing this stutter and how to fix it, I would be most grateful. Um, I figure at the least, you know, I can restart my computer after the stream and hopefully it'll be better the next time. Fewer threads. Was that in here? Maximum render threads. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll stop the recording. This is a good place to stop anyway. Uh, we got green circuits set up. I'm going to build another one of these so that we have two full yellow belts. And I'll leave plenty of room for more because... Probably whatever I'm estimating now is not going to be enough. Um, so if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks a lot for watching. Um, we're going to keep the stream going for a little bit so we can try to debug this with uh, the team that we got here. See you later. Bye-bye.